friends first um, we're gonna start off with writing our name on the back And then flip to the front and then you're going to draw your flower and pencil first make sure you draw it lightly so in case you make a mistake you can erase it I think I'm gonna put the center of my flower here and then I'm going to do I think I'm gonna do long wide petals for this one and you can turn your paper if you need help drawing your petals. And then I'm gonna make it fluffier, so I'm gonna go back in and add more. And a couple more. Now remember when you start painting, you need to pick a complementary color pair. So for mine, I'm going to do purple and yellow, but it's okay if we mix, right? Yes, we can mix other colors in here as long as we keep the majority of our painting a complementary color pair. I think what I'm gonna do, I have my paint, my Q-tips. I think I'm gonna start doing orange dots in the center. So all you do is you dip your Q-tip in the paint and you go up, down, up, down, dot, 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 up, down. We are not uh, rubbing the paint in sideways. We are going up, down, up, down. That's what pointillism is. Pointillism is dots. So you gotta do up, down, up, down. And it's okay if you have a little bit of white showing in your paper. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow and orange. Grab some yellow, mix it in my orange. I think I'm going to do yellow dots in the center. Okay, I think my center is good. Um, now my complementary color for yellow is purple, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to dip some purple on my Q-tip, and then my background petals back here, I'm going to do dark purple. So first, why don't you do the edge of the petal in dots, and then you can go back in and fill it with the dots. I think it's easier if you do the edge first and then go back in and fill it in with the dots. So edge, and then go back in and fill it with dots. Okay, 